The anticipated clash between Zelensky and Trump was expected in 2024, but the war of words has ignited prematurely. Why the early confrontation? The answer remains elusive as tensions escalate with dramatic intensity. Namaste and welcome to TFI Global, the foreign affairs and geopolitical analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. I'm your host, Piyush. Let's begin. The relationship between Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky and former US President Donald Trump was far from a harmonious waltz. Zelensky's rise to power brought hope for stronger Ukrainian-US ties, but it wasn't long before a discordant note sounded, tarnishing their rapport. One key episode that played a major role in their strained relationship was Trump's decision to temporarily withhold military aid to Ukraine. In 2019, nearly $400 million in assistance was suspended, triggering an impeachment inquiry that cast a shadow over their dealings. This happened to coincide with the infamous phone call between Trump and Zelensky that would become a focal point of controversy. Trump and Zelensky weren't on the same page. Under Trump's administration, there were efforts to prevent the Ukrainian conflict from escalating further with Russia. This is worth noting that during his tenure, a significant meeting took place involving Merkel, Macron, Putin and Zelensky. However, Trump eventually left office in January 2021. Enter Joe Biden, whose actions have been seen by some as pushing Ukraine to the brink of war. On February 24, 2022, the war officially began, quickly becoming one of the most troublesome conflicts since World War II. The economies of the West are now grappling with serious turmoil, while geopolitical dynamics are rapidly evolving, widening the polarity of the world. And now we fast forward to the present. Trump finds himself back in the limelight running for re-election. Now, Trump has made a very massive announcement boasting of his instant solution to the Ukraine war. According to Trump, if he was still in power, he could bring an end to the conflict within 24 hours. It is an audacious claim akin to weaving a magic wand to dispel the storm clouds of war. However, Zelensky isn't buying into this theatrical performance. In a recent interview, he took a direct jab at Trump's grandiose assertions. Zelensky stressed, why didn't he do that earlier? He was president when the war was going on here, he explained. I think he couldn't do that. I think there are no people today in the world who could just have a word with Putin and end the war. The Ukrainian leader wasn't impressed with the notion of a happy ending to a very real and bloody war. It's important to clarify the timeline here. The Ukraine war erupted in 2022 under President Joe Biden's administration, not during Trump's. Zelensky's attempt to pin the blame on Trump for a conflict that unfolded after his departure is like blaming an empty umbrella for the rain pouring down. One can't help but wonder if Zelensky's frustrations stem from the potential disruption Trump's proposed solution could bring to the certain vested interests. This is no hidden fact that Zelensky's appointment was influenced by the individuals with ties to the military industrial complex. Trump's promises to challenge the status quo of these very invested deep state politicians might not sit well with those who profit from the perpetual war machine. The war stall on innocent lives is far from a punchline. It's a stark reminder of the consequences when global powers engage in geopolitical power plays. Amid this grand performance, let's not forget that the true antagonist of this ploy is the deep state. While Zelensky seeks to deflect blame onto Trump and engage in political theatrics, Ukrainian lives hang in the balance, their homes shattered and their future uncertain. The war toll is too high and it must come to a halt at any cost. The focus should be on ending the conflict, not indulging in political posturing. The war of words is not a good tactic, Zelensky. You better realize what exactly you have driven your nation into.